Every time I order something on eBay, especially something as complicated as a mobile phone that could potentially have issues, I always be sure to record the experience, and today is no exception. This is a Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9 that I ordered off of eBay, and we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So, open this box. We've got USB-C charging cable. Got a genuine Samsung brick, but a very old one that's not fast charged. Some paper. And we have our phone. So this is... Pull this out. Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? This probably has the IMEI on it. So this says Galaxy Note 9, 120 gigabytes. It says Sprint for some reason. This one's supposed to be unlocked, not Sprint. But I should be able to uh, to unlock this if it's not unlocked already. Uh, it says FMI status off, BP 98%. Okay. Just held on with some tape, so we'll just pull that off there. And... Wow, that, okay, so it seems like I'm looking at this, this looks like a phone that was in its case for the entirety of its life. The only blemish, and unfortunately this is exactly where I didn't want a blemish to be because this is where you'd see it even without a case, is there is a little dent right there, right where the S Pen is. But that, but that honestly doesn't seem out of the ordinary because if someone would have had this in a case that didn't hold, didn't you know cover the S Pen housing very well, if they dropped it, then that could still get dented. It's kind of a weak point on the phone with a lot of cases. Here's the S Pen. We're gonna pull this out. Ooh! So this is the Cloud Silver S Pen. Very beautiful. Got a little bit, little bit of baby blue on the edge. This, it's, it's still mostly silver, but it's got a slight blue fleck on the frame. This looks very nice. I got some minor scuffs and scrapes. I can probably rub most of this off, but this looks very nice. If it only didn't have this dent, it'd be perfect. Like it'd be for my and for what I would consider it to be perfect. So that's the Cloud Silver Note 9. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's power this up. There we go. It said it shipped with Android 10, which is the latest firmware for the Note 9, to my knowledge. The current Note 9 that I use Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's funny. The back, the sticker said Sprint, but the startup is T-Mobile. Well, that's fine because I have T-Mobile. And again, I'm pretty sure all these are unlocked now, anyways. So I could always flash the unlocked firmware on this and get all the bloatware off of it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna blast through the setup real quick. I'm not gonna set this up properly. I'm just gonna skip all this for now. Skip, skip anyways, don't copy, I'm just going to blow through the setup right now, I'll set it up later off camera, I will still set the time zone. Okay, so we're going to, let's see, which one do I want to test, fingerprint sensor looks good, so I want to test that. Set that up. Let's see if it'll allow me to unroll this really good. There we go. Next. Try it out. Touch the fingerprint sensor to verify your identity. There we go. Fingerprint is good. Skip Samsung account for now. No. I don't want any of this T-Mobile junk. 
and we're all done. Okay, so that's that. Cloud Silver, ooh. Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9. Power off your device, insert the service provider UICC that came with your device. I assume that means SIM card, obviously. So, looking at this, it says it's 128 gigs. I have no doubt about that. I don't see why they would lie about that. One UI 2.5, Android 10. Do I see any burn-in on the screen? I don't see any burn-in on the screen. It looks good. No issues there. February 1st, 2022 security patch. All looks good. Yeah, looking good, looking good. We go to device care. Yep, we can see storage 128 gigs. So this is 128 gigs, just like my old Note. I don't think they ever made a 512 gig in the silver variant. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I'd love to know if they did. To my knowledge, they only made the 512 in the black and the blue. But I very well could be mistaken. So, everything seems good so far. Let's see if this cable plugs in correctly. Yep. Feels like it should. Maybe a little loose, but nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, if I... Feels good. I don't feel any screen separation when I touch on it. So, yeah, here we go. Check out the camera. Okay, looks good. Check out the S Pen. draw everything here looks good so far see s pen's always hard to get on the edges this phone yeah you, you get the idea it works and then put that back in normal to touch as well the touch screen is in good shape very nice everything is smooth as it should be this is just me kind of being haphazard with it. it's not it's missing my touches there we go so overall pretty happy with this so far I'm trying to remember where I bought this from but yeah so this is my unboxing and just a quick look at my newest phone purchase, the, the Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9. So I mainly bought this because my Note 9 that I've been using for the last three years. Now, my Note 9, I will still eventually repair. It works. Obviously, I'm using it to film this video, so it is functional. But I did drop it and break the screen on it, which is the first time I've broken a screen on a phone in quite a long time. Uh, it's been at least five or six years since I've broken a phone, but I dropped my Note 9 without a case on it and shattered the screen, so that's my bad. So, again, my phone is still functional, but my phone's been kind of buggy ever since I got it. My phone was a U.S. cellular phone that I bought blacklisted as part of a deal where I installed the Unlock firmware on it and been using it. And I've been having weird little glitches and hiccups with it ever since I got it. And it's been kind of getting worse as time went on. And that combined with the fact that my battery is now worn down and I broke the screen on it and I broke the back on it. Again, I will fix all three of those things eventually. But for now, I wanted to get another Note 9 because it's not like I wouldn't use it to begin with. Because my Note 9 that I'm using is still on the original firmware and I don't like to update my phones. You know, a lot of people, if they have an issue with their phone, they'll update their phone. In my experience, if I have an issue with the software on my phone, I'll just get another phone. Uh, at least whenever I can. So, because I like to have phones on the old firmware, and as you know, on Samsung phones, you can't really downgrade the firmware anymore. So, once you update it, you're done. So, this will be my updated phone that I can use carelessly with all the, whatchamacallits, and should last me for quite a while and then I still have my Ocean Blue Note 9 as a backup. 
So, now before we get out of here, I'm going to go ahead and show the two cases that I grabbed for this device. So we'll grab those real quick. All right, so I know I bought two cases. I bought the Samsung silicone cover, the genuine case, and I bought this Incipio. And for some reason, I can't find the Samsung, even though I literally just got it two days ago. I seem to have misplaced it. So we will go ahead and open up this Incipio Dual Pro and see what's up with this. And pull this out. this batch the cloud silver it's kind of sticky on the back for some reason I'm not sure why that is it smells like nail polish was this actually a new case this is supposed to be a new case I mean it doesn't look like it was used per se but it smells like it smells like it was Ugh, that's gross okay well We'll go ahead and wipe off the back of the note so we can get that back all nice and shiny. And get all these little specks of dust and whatnot off of it without triggering the front buttons. There we go. Not like it matters. This isn't a clear case anyways. But still, I'm going to pop this in here. Oh wow, that actually went in really easily. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, because the other Incipio Dual Pro that I have fits very snugly. This one still fits snugly, don't get me wrong. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop off, but it's also, it's not hard to get on and off like the other one is. But yeah, beautiful. Look at that. You got access to your S Pen. No problems. Good amount of protection. So yeah, that's that. So this will be my setup for at least a little bit. Nice protective case. Good amount of lip on it. I don't usually rock screen protectors, but I actually might put one on this time. So yeah, that's my unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 Cloud Silver. Sorry if I sound a little bit unenthused I'm actually really excited for this I just just now woke up so I'm a little ugh. anyways so this cloud silver galaxy note 9 one of the more uncommon note 9 colors in the states and one thing that's cool about this case is this case actually does cover up the dent right there on the side which is really nice so yeah I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be rocking this case just for that reason alone, so that way this thing looks really good. There's a little scuff on the S Pen, but that's it. I'm going to try to get one of these S Pens, because these S Pens are kind of hard to find, because obviously the, the yellow and the purple and the black are really easy S Pens to find. Silver, not so much. Okay. Buttons, good. Volume buttons, just fine. Bixby. Yep, Bixby works. Pretty good so far. The ports look like they're relatively clean. I don't see any like dirt in them or anything. So pretty good, pretty good. So that's pretty much it. This is my unboxing of my Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9. So far, so good. Uh, this phone actually comes with a one year warranty from the seller, which is really nice. But hopefully I won't need to collect on that because I actually don't know how how those warranties are actually enforced on eBay because to my knowledge eBay is just the 30 days and that's it but we'll see anyways this is Intellitech Studio signing out with my unboxing of the Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9 I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you all have a good one peace